Yo, what's going on everybody? Today, I wanted to talk a little bit about how the mechanics in Dragons work. We're wanting to build a team. There are some things that we really want to discuss in how to go about building a team that is successful. And then we need to talk about the reasons why teams fail and how to remedy those problems. So first of all, I'm going to go ahead and run this team. It's nothing fancy. We've got Spectra, pretty good unit. It's definitely going to need some pretty good runes to operate like this one. It's Second Awakened, fully skilled. We've got Belladion, the same build that was in the Starter Giants team. These aren't ruined optimally for doing dragons at all. We have pretty much the same build as I run in Giants for my Lauren. Nothing special here. Fran is actually pretty powerful. One of the best units that I have built on this team. Then we have our Vertiheal. It's got quite a bit of HP. It's got good speed, good crit rate. And it's actually built on speed, defense, HP. So the rune quality for building a dragon's team is pretty high. You shouldn't be building it unless like you've been farming giants for quite some time. So if you guys are wondering, oh well I can't do this at my rune quality, this is way too much, you should probably farm more giants and obtain rune quality that is equivalent to if not better than what are on these units. So we'll go ahead, we'll do a lot of runs. This video is going to to be about how the giant or sorry, how the dragons work and how you can make many different types of teams. There's more even than I'll, that I won't even show today, but these are the ones that I run personally uh, and show people every now and then. I don't necessarily show this team. I wanted to show that you didn't need to have the chilling, you didn't need to have the light difference. So I decided, why not? We'll just put this team together. I ran it to see if it would at least clear it. I don't have very much information about it, but it follows the key mechanics that you need to follow for defeating this boss. You need to be able to do damage, obviously. You need to be able to strip. You need to be able to do attack bar knockback. That'll help out the survivability. Fire vampire is usually necessary for turn superiority. So here we have the fire vampire giving us our lead speed lead. Um, we've got Fran who has immunity, which is pretty good. And she also provides healing, uh, attack bar knockback on four units here. Bala does attack bar knockback, uh, Spectre does, Fran does, and Lauren does. So we've got a lot of possibilities there. My speed tuning for this team is not optimal. Um, we definitely would want to work with probably working on making my Lauren go second so we can get some smart strips in there. However, it's it's kind of working out. She's been throwing out strips every now and then and making it so that Bella saves hers. Here we go. The reason why I would want Lauren to go first, or I mean second, is so she can do attack bar knockbacks after Bella. That would make it safer for this team specifically. And then your Spectra is going to be able to throw out AoE attack bar knockbacks for the towers. You got slows for AoE slows. Pretty good for this team comp in general. So basically, it's it's going pretty well, smooth. We haven't gotten a breath yet, so we'll see what happens if that does happen. So far this team has been pretty successful in killing the, the dragon. So this looks like it's going to be another victory. Uh, coming up next, we will look at kind of mixing up the team towards using different types of units. So we're going to take out Fran, 
We're gonna take out Bella. This is gonna speed up the team quite a bit. We're gonna put in Rauk. And we are going to put in Alsharion. So if you don't have him, you could also use Chilling as well in his place. I feel that uh, an uh, a unskilled up Chilling does a lot better in this situation. You can run double Rauk as well. I feel this is quite a bit safer, so we're going to go ahead and, and run this real quick. If you're having issues during the mid stage, you can target the left crystal, then the mid guy, or left, right, mid. And the way that you know, let's go ahead and switch that up real quick. We'll go mid boss, we'll hit up left, and we'll hit the boss. The way that you know that you're doing enough damage is if you can kill the crystal before your Lauren gets another turn. Uh, that way, she will do attack or knockbacks and make it so that your units take quite a lot less damage. The two crystals on the side, they have defense break, and it's very, very uh, crucial to get rid of that um, element from your units. If you get your, let's say, Rauk defense broken, and it, it, both two towers hit the Rauk at the same time, or let's say a defense break comes out and then the dragon goes because it's not getting attack bar knockback, you can possibly lose one of your damage dealers. If you're having issues with survivability, you can bring Fran in still instead of Rauk. You can keep the Alsharion in and he'll be able to do strips. And right now I've got him speed tuned to go before Lauren, so that actually helps out quite a bit. Right now, uh, it looks like we're having a pretty solid run. This team has a chance to fail if the strip doesn't happen, and then obviously the, the dragon breaths uh, multiple times, you can have a failure in that regard, because we have no healer here. If you're having a lot of problems with that, you just substitute Rauk with Fran, and it does a lot better in, in those terms. So right now we're doing pretty good. We've got some pretty good damage coming out. And the tower is going to go. You've got team up with Rauk. Sometimes he can pull in the vampire and that helps out quite a bit. We missed our strip, so we're gonna have double dots. We're gonna have breath come out. It killed our vampire and now we're having issues. So you see right here, the problem with this team with the strip ability causing a lot of issues. So we'll go ahead, and if you're having these types of problems, you might be able to do better with running, let's say, a Fran instead, like so. And in this, in this circumstance, you can probably just go for the boss, because right now, my weakest unit for HP was the Crow, so I'd go mid-boss, and we'll fight with... Fran instead and that was actually like a triple hit non-strip this Alsharion has 65% accuracy so the chance for him to not strip there was very very small and caused us the, the, the wipe and then you'll see a lot of that being an issue we'll move on to the next team which I'm, I'm sure all of you guys know about this, and it's the Triple Ikaru uh, next go. And then I'll talk a little bit about like how you can use this team, or the first team that you saw with Bella and all that, to farm up Ikarus, which are very, very good to look out for when you're farming either giants or dragons. I really like Spectra here, specifically because of the AoE attack bar not back. Spectra is actually pretty good for multiple places. You can use it for TOA. Really good for boss fights. I like it. I like the Second Awakened version a lot better than the regular version. Um, I always found it kind of lackluster. Really hard to build. Uh, now it's tankier, much easier to build. Still stat hungry, but 
I like it a lot better now. So the dragon, he does a breath attack that adds dots, and the tower to the left adds dots. The dragon actually does more damage the more dots your units have. So having Fran on the team with the immunity is pretty good, allowing you to stop the dots from the left tower from hitting and stacking up just in case you miss your strips. Um, that'll help out quite a bit. We have a desync going on where Lauren went before El Shiarion did. So something that'll help out is if you get speeds that are pretty pretty high, you can have your Lauren going much more. And then your El Shiarion built on Violent will help quite a bit as well. So we've got another clear. This is actually pretty good if it rolls speed. So we'll go ahead and keep that. And again, we've already seen most of these units. And we switched out Bala for El Sherion here um, in, in that regard. And you can see how Fran, even slow runs will be a lot better for you. Slower is better than Volatile. Though I don't have the route team lose very often. So here we have Vertiheal. In order to build the triple Ikru team, you definitely don't want to use a Vertiheal like that. You're going to want to build one kind of like this one. About 2k attack, 200 crit damage. You can go a little higher on attack, a little less on crit damage. Here we have um, about 10% more uh, crit damage added to skill 1 and skill 2. So he's pretty much 200%. I've got max towers in the attack percent and the crit damage, so there's that added in. I've built this team on several different accounts, uh, and they all are built on uh, Fatal Blade, so you do not need to do you do not need to do Rage Blade for this build at all to make it work. There are my account here only has eight percent defense. Uh, tower, so we need to make up for that in determination runes and or overall stats. So right now we have one determination set that's making up for the bulk of it and our defense is 2422 two, two as our lowest stat and we have a 5% guild lead so that is actually helping out quite a bit. So we'll go ahead and, and run this and I'll talk a little bit about what an Ika rune is real quick. Uh, slot 1, you're going to want to have accuracy and speed as your primary stats. Slot 2, you're going to want defense percent with substat of defense uh, flat with speed and accuracy. Hopefully you can get those stats. Multiple rolls into flat defense is ideal. Then we have slot 3. You're going to want to run slot 3 with high defense percent with speed and accuracy on it. Probably like crit rate or something like that. We go slot 4, you go defense percent, same thing as slot 2. 2, 4, 6 are going to be roughly the same. And your slot 5 is going to be more so the attack percent sub with uh, the same as your slot 3, except for you can actually get flat defense. So defense percent, speed, accuracy with uh, either attack percent or flat defense on them. So those are things to look for like while you're collecting your runes and they can be on pretty much any set if you've acquired them. So I've got like swift sets that are just pretty decent. This has got high defense, it's got swapped speed with some accuracy. So you can see kind of like how these runes are being used. That kind of thing. So the Ica runes are pretty good to get like guard runes but you don't need them 
broken sets do work. You can get determination runes. Slot 1 is pretty easy to acquire. Decent stats. You pretty much just need like speed or accuracy on them and they work out pretty well. But that's the evolution of kind of like working towards maybe building Triple Ikaru. Start out small, start out with your vampire. If you can build the vampire, then go ahead and build the team. If you can't, uh, keep working on building up your runes, running giants, getting the appropriate stats for your uh, vampire here. And then I recommend building only one Ikaru. Uh, that way you can utilize him in multiple places and content. Um, while working on building the rest of your your team and then you can use the RTA monster section here and you can rune him up inside here in order to get them all set, uh, set up for all three so what I did is I ruined everything up with the main Ikaru and then I put them on alternative units just down below like throw it on this unit for whatever reason and then just save them there and then work on the next set then work on the next set and once you have three start working on building the next Ikaru's or maybe once you have another one you can build it. I've been using these in hilarious places you can actually use them in Rift Beasts so you can use them as a frontline tank they do really well specifically in the dark one it was uh, pretty pretty good and I used it in the fire one as well and he did pretty pretty well there all right so if you guys would like to know a little bit more about any other content let me know in the comments down below we'll talk in depth and uh, all that good stuff uh, you guys can find me on twitch malchire 27 and you can ask me questions live I go live at 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. Uh, every single day, Pacific Standard Time. All right, guys, have a wonderful rest of your day.